take care of that. Why is Cole Hauser shattered? Cole Hauser's amazing performance as Rip Wheeler in Yellowstone has made him a sensation, but recently his followers have learned of his mother's passing. Cole Hauser's mother, Cass Warner, passed away just a few days ago, much to the surprise of his fans. What actually transpired with the mother of Cole Hauser? The actor shared a picture of them cuddling up on a horseback ride on the set of the well-known program on Instagram. With a deep heart, I announce the death of my mom. At the age of 76, Cass Sperling Warner passed away. The world will miss her incredible energy, compassion, love, and humor in addition to my family. Hauser captioned the photo, You have impacted so many people. I'm sure you'll be seated with all the great people who have ever lived in the sky. We'll get together once more. For now, bye, he said. The Game of Thrones actor Jason Momoa was among the many famous people who quickly expressed their support for Hauser in the comments area, leaving two black hearts. A string of prayer emojis was offered by The Help star Octavia Spencer, and TV personality and singer-songwriter Carney Wilson commented, So, so sorry for your loss. Your mom, Cole, we are deeply sorry for your loss. In the comments, the official Yellowstone Instagram page said, Sending love to you and your family. As the beloved character Rip Wheeler, Hauser has been appearing alongside Kevin Costner in the popular television series Yellowstone since 2018. It's evident that Warner enjoyed Hauser's persona just as much as the show's audience. The pleased mother would frequently share pictures of her son dressed as a character from the western drama set, urging her fans to watch. Looking forward to the actor's strike being resolved, as has the writer's strike, so that Hollywood can be creating quality projects, she said in the caption of a post. To the whole cast and crew of Yellowstone, I adore how Mr. Cole's shoulder is illuminated by the light. Warner worked in the entertainment industry herself. Being the granddaughter of Warner, the first president and one of the studio's founders, she received a dual education in filmmaking during her early years. After reaching adulthood, she founded Warner Sisters, a production firm that produced the documentary The Brothers Warner in 07. Hauser is waiting for the second half of Yellowstone's fifth and final season to start production. The actor told Esquire in October, I was worried that we might lose our audience before season five, but it was quite the opposite. The fan community genuinely adores everyone, not just my persona. I find it quite remarkable that so many people are concerned. Many people are publishing false information online, claiming that Cass Warner is not related to the Warner family and that her surname only happens to resemble theirs. What was her relationship to the illustrious Warner family and who was Cass Warner exactly? The late Cass Warner was a writer, filmmaker and the granddaughter of Warner Brothers co-founder Harry Warner. She was 76 years old. Cass's grandpa, Polish immigrant Harry Warner, the eldest of the Warner brothers, helped establish the company in 1923 after joining brothers Sam, Albert and Jack in the early days of the film industry in 1905. Together, the foursome built a cinematic powerhouse, a dream factory that served as Hollywood's social conscience and produced contemporary and topical movies about a variety of subjects, including the Red Scare, the development of fascism, and the Great Depression. Betty Warner Scheinbaum, Harry's daughter, described her father as a very serious man in a letter. He served as the company's inspiration and conscience. Producer Milton Sperling, who had collaborated with former Warner Brothers Daryl Zanuck at Fox, wed Betty in 1939. Harry allowed Sperling to establish an independent production unit at Warner Brothers because he did not want his family members to work for the rival company. On March 8, 1948, Betty and Milton welcomed Cass into the world. She quickly began to observe her father's story meetings and pick up tips from the industry during the latter years of Hollywood's golden age. Howard Koch, 
The screenwriter of iconic Warner Brothers movies like Casablanca, The Seahawk, The Letter and Sergeant York also served as a mentor to her. Cass, who came from a family where every male member was involved in Warner Brothers production. She then decided to revolutionize the Warner Brothers production house by founding Warner Sisters, her own production company. Was she successful in her venture? Cass started Warner Sisters, a company that produces movies and television shows like Hopper, in his own words, in 2012, carrying on the family business legacy. In addition, she founded The Dream Factory, a non-profit that publishes motivational interviews with famous Hollywood people. Among Cass Warner's most well-known works are her 1993 book Hollywood, Be Thy Name, The Warner Brothers Story co-written with her father and Jack Warner Jr. The book was later retitled The Brothers Warner to match the title of the feature documentary of the same name, which has won her an HBO Films Producer Award. The Brothers Warner was televised in condensed form as part of PBS's Excellent American Masters series. In addition, Cass frequently visited guests on the Warner Brothers studio tour, where she engaged in storytelling and imparted family history to tour guides. Cass has been adding to Warner history in recent years by posting both new and old interviews on her website. Her immediate relatives, as well as studio employees, such as actor James Garner and Harry's final secretary, Lois McCrew, provided insightful accounts of the difficult journey leading up to Warner Brothers' 1956 sale. Cass addressed filmmaker Frank Capra's statement regarding the duty of films on her website, Warner Sisters. This was understood by my family, she stated. They knew how many people they could reach and how powerful this medium could be. They were aware that they were establishing norms, introducing and influencing ideas, and playing a key role in shaping culture to come. In 1939, Groucho Marx referred to Warner's as the only studio with guts for opposing the Nazis and breaking the production code. Warner Brothers was, in fact, credited in 1943 by the New York Times for combining good citizenship with good picture making. Cass was a mother of four children. The most well-known of them is Hauser, who has had a prosperous Hollywood career. Son Jesse Poole works in advertising. Daughter Tao Gaines is an entrepreneur. And daughter Vanessa Mooney is a designer. She was married three times, in 1970 to 1972 to Wings Hauser, in 1974 to 1977, and in 1977 to Glenn Allen Poole. Cole Hauser has recently made headlines for all the wrong reasons. Quadruple Six, the intended sequel to Yellowstone Season 5, has fans worried about what will come to Rep Wheeler because of a lawsuit that actor Cole Hauser filed. Will Cole Hauser's appearance in Yellowstone come to an end? Fans of Yellowstone are curious about the implications of Taylor Sheridan's recent lawsuit against Cole Hauser, who plays Rip Wheeler, for both the character's destiny in the impending season finale and the show's quadruple six planned sequel. Yellowstone, which Sheridan and John Linson co-created, debuted in 2018 and will conclude in 2024, following a run of five seasons. The Dutton family and their long-standing Yellowstone ranch are at the heart Part of this neo-western tale, which is set in Montana. The family's present patriarch, John Dutton III, is portrayed by Kevin Costner. He must manage the sizable cattle ranch while juggling drama within the family and the surrounding Broken Rock Reservation and Yellowstone National Park. Though fans anticipate seeing even more of Rip Wheeler in Yellowstone Season 5 Part 2, rumors of a lawsuit have raised some doubts about the character's future. Taylor Sheridan, one of the co-creators of Yellowstone, filed a lawsuit against Cole Hauser, who portrays the beloved cowboy Rip early in December 2023. Sheridan allegedly filed a lawsuit against the Yellowstone actor for copyright infringement and false advertising because of the actor's similar-looking corporate logos. The action, which is scheduled to take place in federal court in Texas, puts Hauser's Free Rain Coffee firm against Sheridan's Bosque Ranch. The fact that both brand logos resemble actual cattle brands may be confusing. 
Sheridan's firm alleges that Hauser's free reign is attempting to mistake or deceive it as affiliation, connection, or association with Boss Garange, in addition to infringement of trademarks. It isn't surprising that Sheridan and Hauser would both want to emulate one of the most recognizable images from the show in their other professional endeavors, considering how distinctive the Yellowstone Ranch's cattle brand is in the series. Ultimately, the wildly successful Paramount series catapulted both of them to unprecedented levels of popular culture prominence and awareness. However, the lawsuit undoubtedly throws a spanner in the works for both the business relationship between the two and possibly for the Yellowstone's last season. Do you believe Cole Hauser is back at work after overcoming the tragedy? Do share your thoughts with us in the comments section. For more interesting stories and updates, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell icon for notifications. Until next time.